So, are you going to get your money back then? Aye, uh, put down the police station, fill the forms in this shed. Should be any problem at all. Well, that sounds all right anyway. Mm hmm. But, um, if you put it back into the same account, isn't there a danger that she might draw it back out again? Ah, uh, very real danger. That's why I'm closing the account completely. Ah. Then when I get my money back, I'll put it in an account in my name only, which, before you go on at me, I know I should have done it in the first place. Got you the custard slice. Ah, well, you're a good man, Tyrone. Thank you very hey, much. Hey, where's mine? Not for you. <laughs> I'll do. You right, Steve? I'm all right. No, I don't expect I'll see much of her now. She'll be running around trying to find some other sucker to take for a ride. Well, they may not be as lucky as you. Phew, lucky? Is that what you call it? Well, at least you're going to get your money back. Aye, yeah, I suppose you're right. I suppose I'm lucky. Uh, I just don't feel it, though, you know. Concentrate, Tyrone, will you? Look, I, uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be away, lads, but obviously you're in charge. Oh, well, the entire workforce, I say. <laughs> Can you handle him? Well, I'll give it a go. Um, look, are you still interested in buying this place? If you're still interested in selling. <sighs> I don't know what I want in a moment, Jim. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to bear with me. No, that's all right. Don't worry your heads. You just take your time. We'll keep things going till you get back. And if you do get busy, you can always take someone else on or phone me up at my dad's. I've left the number there. Uh, what in the name of God does she want? Oi. Look, if you're looking for Gwen Davis, I can't help you. She doesn't live here anymore. She doesn't? No, she doesn't. So can you tell me where she does live? No, I can't tell you where she does live. I don't know where she does live. See? Well, if that's what you're saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Then she's left debts behind her that are going to have to be paid one way or another. Well, tell me this. What do you have in mind? Well, if we can't get the money... No, we'll no, have no. To no. Forget it. Forget it. Left. I'll tell you what we'll do, OK? I'll save you a load of bother. Why don't you just go in there and take whatever it is you want and peddle away with it, eh? How's that? Well, not this minute. Well, you tell me when, my sweet, and I will have it ready for you. I can come back this evening, say, six o'clock. Six o'clock. Sublime. Great. Thank you. Goodbye. Let them take it. Oh, if they want it. Well, they do, don't they? Oh, well, they do now. But then they haven't seen what they're going to come to collect yet, Gary. There. Cheers, Gary. No problem anymore. No, whatever else there is to come, I'll do it myself. Yeah, I'll see you, lads. Good luck, mate. And give my regards to Bill, won't you? Okay. See you, Captain. Yeah. See you now. See you. Cheerio, night. Yeah. Right, see you later. What is he doing? Looks like he's got rid of her, and now he wants rid of her furniture. Well, you can't just leave it all there like that, surely. Oh, anyway, are we having a drink? I'm parched. You coming, Ella? Uh, no, I think I'd better go. Yeah, well, I thought I'd better do that. Then I thought, no, I'd sooner have a drink. You coming then, Bobby? Yeah. See ya. Come on, then. Well, what's all that about? I don't know. Well, it can't stay there. I've got deliveries in the morning. The van will never get through. Oi! 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 This your rubbish, is it? Well, you see, Michael, I inherited it from my ex fiance so, um, yeah, I suppose you could say it belongs to me. I, why, what's it to you? I'll tell you what it is to me. I need access to my premises. I suggest you get rid of it. I understand your problem, Michael. I'll tell you what, I'll get rid of it right now. Hey, Linda. Michael, with you two shakes of a dead lamb's tail. Is that petrol? He's balmy. He was halfway there already, but now he's on the whole way. What? to Gwen's furniture. It's not. Yeah, now. <sighs> well, hello there. How are you doing? You come for your furniture? Well, that's great. Perfect timing. There's only one big problem. You're not going to need that big van, though, are you? Eh? Watch it. He's just soaked that in petrol. Oh, absolutely, Michael. Of course I have soaked in petrol. Well, that's not going to help. You're still going to have to pay. Oh, I have no doubt I'm going to have to pay. Sure, I've been paying for women all my life, so I have. Jim, what are you doing? 
Go back inside, Gary. Don't worry about it. Well, that's not going to help. Well, it's going to help me, so it is. Jim, don't. It's going to help me forget. Forget the fact that that stupid bitch made a fool of me. Dad, just think about this for a minute, will you? This will do the trick, Gary. Don't you worry your head. She did try and take all his money. Are you flipping mad or something? I don't believe this. Oh, come on, it's a nice wee blaze. Do you no harm? Hey! What are you, some kind of a maniac? What do you think you're doing? You're going to set fire to the whole street? Just keep out of this. Not the two we you Excuse me, I live here. That's my show. It's all right. Shut, Shut up. up. Show. Just keep out of it, Deb. I've warned you, all right? Morning, yes, I'm warning I'm you. I'm not idiot who thinks it's bonfire okay, night. Just leave it. I wish I heard the fire was going to tell you what I could do. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Hey! Still I'm not going to talk to me like that. Get inside. Take him inside. Get inside. You're a dead man. I think you've proved your point, whatever that means. So who does he think he is? Yeah, he should be locked up. Yes. Something like that. Hey, Gary. Come on in. Have a beer if you don't mind standing up, that is. I'd rather you took a minute to tell me what you think you're playing at. One minute I'm helping you shift furniture, the next you're playing Terror and Infernal. Gary. I've got kids Gary. next to her. Gary, Gary, it was a gesture, all right? And I don't mind telling you, it made me feel a whole lot better, so it did. Well, I'm glad about that, because your gesture nearly set us all alight. Well, look, I'm very sorry, Gary, if you thought there might have been an accident. I didn't think. I thought it was perfectly safe. And I don't regret a minute of it, so I don't. Uh, eh? uh, hang on a minute. Who owns the furniture? Ah, now you're talking, son, you see. If you think about it, she's legged it. And she paid for the furniture on a store card with my name, so legally, legally, the furniture is mine. So you set your own furniture alight? I most certainly did, sir. He's flipped. I knew he would one day. Oh, dear, no, listen, I did better than that. Now, think about this. She hadn't paid a penny for it. So I have 36 months at £84.72 pence to look forward for the privilege of owning a pile of wet ash. What about that, eh? You've lost it. Big time. Hey, what are you talking about? I've done well out of this deal. She tried to get 35 grand out of me, so she did. I think that's called cutting off your nose to spite your face. Absolutely! That's exactly what it is. And don't you underestimate it, son, for it's good crack and it makes you feel good. Beer? Hello. Don't worry, I won't cause you any trouble. Do you mind if I finish my beer? I hope you're taking this seriously, Mr. McDonald. Yeah, I am. Look, I'm sorry about all that mess. Um, I'll, I'll pay for it to be cleaned up. Just send me the bill. How's that, eh? Well, with a dangerous fire, an obstructed highway, a police car, fire engine. Just hope it was worth it. Look, like I say, you just tell me what to do and I'll do it. I'd like to feel you understand how dangerous this situation was. Yes. Yes, I do, Officer. Gary, I'm sorry. And you can rest assured nothing like this will happen again, OK? All right. Well, finish your beer, then. I'll take you down to the station. Uh, hang on a minute. You can't arrest him for having a bonfire. Yes, I can. I want to take a full statement, and then I'm going to issue you with a formal police caution. OK, right, thanks. I appreciate it. No, well, don't be too grateful. A formal police caution isn't just a slapped wrist. This will be kept on record. And should there be any other incidents, then it will be taken into account. I understand. You're a lucky man. Yes, I know. Of course, you know what this means, don't you? What? We're going to have to watch the football stood up. When you're ready. Okay. See you, boys. Good. Hey, Jimmy boy. Don't suppose you got much breakfast this morning, eh? I beg your pardon. Well, I heard you had a big barbie last night. Do you know, Trone, it really is the way you tell them, isn't it, eh? <laughs> go on, get on with it. Hey, no need to be like that, boss. But I tell you what, you're going nowhere near that petrol today. Do you know you're dead funny, you are. Oh, hey, can I work on the Jag? No, you can't, Trone. Oh, come on, we never get any decent cars in here. What's wrong with it? Well, there's nothing wrong with it. He just wants to change it over to unleaded and we haven't got the parts. It's going to have to wait. Well, I tell you what. Why don't I take it for a spin, you know, check everything's all right, and that? <laughs> no chance. I'll tell you what, why don't you just go and do some menial task that you're very good at? How's that, eh? I don't know. All my dreams shut down in flames. Ah, oh, you poor wee lamb. So everything's running all right, then? It's fine? Yeah, everything's fine. He's getting it converted to unleaded because he reckons it's going to be more environmentally friendly or something like that. I can't think of a life of me why, but it's only going to do about 10 miles to the gallon. 10? 
Hmm? But, well, how far's Greenfield Country Park? I don't know, 15, 20 miles or something? Yeah, that's all right, yeah. Oh, good. Is everything all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Fantastic. Superb. Oh, don't worry about him. He's lost a pup. He's on another planet, that boy. Just popped in to say hello. Well, mm. don't worry, cos Jim's not set fire to anything all day. <laughs> oh, shut your face, you. So you're back to your grumpy old self. Look, Gary, uh, I didn't mean any danger to anyone, least of all your wee children with that fire, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. But still, you don't regret it, though, do you? I certainly do not. You took me for a fool. More fool me. Anyway, it's done, dusted, finished, you know. I'm glad to hear it. So, listen, do you want to see coming around and watching the football this weekend? I've got plenty of room on the floor now, you know. <laughs> I can't see why not. Yeah, you can come too if you behave yourself. Well, I can't anyway. I've got a big day, Anna. Lots of rock and roll. <laughs> uh, it'll be nice for her then. Hey, Arshon. Who was that? Somebody on the phone about a service. What car? Tyrone, what is the matter with you, eh? A mark? Every time the phone goes about a service, you want to know what type of car it is and how old it is, eh? But what model is it? It is a 208 Sprinter. Hmm? Oh, are you sure that's a Merc? I've never heard of it. Believe me, it's a Merc. It's a Mercedes van, c Reg, and it's coming in on Monday, OK? Hmm. What are you looking so miserable now for? Because I'm sick of working on heaps of junk like this. Won't we ever get any decent cars? Well, if it makes you feel any better, Tyrone, Mr. Dewson's bringing his car in this afternoon, all right? What does Mr. Dewson drive? As far as I remember, it's an Alfa Romeo. You were drooling over it last month. Do you remember? Oh, and what's that in for? I think it's in for a clutch. Well, you leave that to me, Jim. I'll take care of it. 